Hello, this is Steve from the Fluorescent Flying Penguins. Today, I'm going to be talking about the new loop interrupt block and what it does. The loop interrupt block only has one setting. So, as you can see, this button doesn't do anything. But on the top right, there is something that you can click so you can change the name of the loop interrupt block. This is very useful, as I will show you later. So you can name it pretty much anything, like you can name it Bob, for example. OK, so now let me show you a program I made that uses the new loop interrupt block. So what this program does is it asks if the left, middle, or right button was pushed. The left button was pushed, it says left. If the middle button was pushed, it says start. The right button was pushed, it says right. And then after any of those noises, it stops the loop. It's really easy to stop the loop because if, the, if you have a loop interrupt block, if you set the name the same as the name of the loop, then it instantly stops the loop when that block runs. Let me show you. So I'm going to download and run. Now I'm go okay, so watch this. When this turns back to a start button, that means the program is finished. So let me press the left button. As you can hear, it said left, and then the program stopped. Now let me download and run and, make, and press the middle button. Start. As you can hear, it said start, and then the program stopped. Now let me press the right button. Right. As you can hear, it said right, and then the program stopped. So the program stops because the only part of the program is the loop and then everything inside of the loop. Thank you for watching this episode of Programming with EV3. Thank you and goodbye.